From US to Canada, Germany, Japan, there is less complaining than in Singapore and Ireland. Millions of people from all over the globe just call this fever for complaint free world. Teddy Bear. Hi. Hi, bud. Hi. Hey. Yeah. This is our third time today doing this. Is that right? Well, we got a bunch more to do because we're going to go on vacation. So you have to work hard before you go on vacation, right? Do you want to turn in and let everybody see you? There you go. Say hello. Good morning, everybody. Be sure and check in. Today is Tuesday. So uh, every always give me a kiss on the ear and a yawn. Everybody be sure and check in, say hello. Tell us where you are, what you're up to. Be sure and connect with everybody. I will not be responding live because this is actually videotaped. Videotaped, who uses videotape anymore? Even back in the 80s when we used videotape, it wasn't a good thing. So anyway, I'm live, I'm recording this today so that Teddy and I can go on vacation. So when you and I are watching this, when you're watching this, Teddy and I will be on vacation. He'll be licking my fingers like he's doing right now. He wants to go back to sleep, don't you? Huh? Do you want to go back to sleep? You do? Okay. Well, can I put you under the desk? Hmm? Let's do that. I'll see you again because we got several more of these to do. All right, everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day and that um, your day is going well already. I'm really grateful to be here with you and I'm grateful for those of you here, who are especially here for the first time. If you're here for the first time, be sure and check in, say hi, I'm here for the first time. Everybody will greet you. We appreciate you being here. And of course, we wanna invite you to like my page, facebook.com forward slash Will Bowen. And also, thank you to those of you who share every single day. Whenever we do a jumpstart, let everybody know what we're up to. And that's how we build this vibrant community of positive, happy, upbeat people around the world. And I do mean literally around the world, as many of you all know. From those of you who have been here for a while, we've got friends in Argentina and Brazil and the United Kingdom and Australia and shoot, even all the way down here in Florida. <laughs> So I want to talk to you about something interesting today I consider to be interesting. And when I was a boy, uh, my favorite television show by far was Alfred Hitchcock Presents. I used to love to sit there and watch the introduction with Hitchcock. And they were always so funny, especially for a man who dealt in suspense and terror. One of the interesting things I thought in reading uh Mr. Rogers' autobiography was for a man who lived in television land, he never watched television. He didn't care for television. He didn't think television brought anything new or interesting to the picture. And that's why he got into television specifically was to try and create a better medium for children. Now, the interesting thing is that the one show that Mr. Rogers always watched was Alfred Hitchcock Presents. However, he only watched the introduction. He never watched the theater play that was shown every week. He would always just watch the custom introductions that Hitchcock would do. For those of you who are old enough to remember, they were a lot of fun. Very self-effacing. I remember him one time, um, a buzzsaw was going to cut him in half and all kinds of crazy things. He just loved to poke fun at himself. Well, back when I was living in Kansas City, the um, AMC theater down the street from us, which, by the way, of all the things I miss, movie theaters, by far. I swear when I walk in and smell popping popcorn in a movie theater, I think I'm probably going to cry when I do for the very first time because I love movies and I love movie theaters. The AMC theater in Kansas City, which is near where I used to live, 
had a bar that they put in. And I loved that idea. What a clever idea, you know, uh, why not allow an adult who wants to have a beer or a glass of wine or a cocktail, enjoy one while they go and sit and watch the movie. And then you get to make the revenue on alcohol, which is way higher than just about anything else you're going to sell. So they opened this bar and they called it MacGuffins. Now, on the wall was a sign that explains what a MacGuffin is. And by the way, AMC Theater started opening these around Kansas City, so I presume they were opening them around the country. But, um, of course, everything is closed right now. But what is a MacGuffin? Well, it says on the wall what a MacGuffin is. A MacGuffin is a non sequential, non, not non-sequential, but something that seems unimportant that takes place. But as the result of it taking place, everything spins off in a different direction. Let me give you the definition here. Uh, here we go. MacGuffin is an object of or device in a movie or book that serves merely as a trigger for the plot. It is an object or device in a movie or book that serves merely as a trigger for the plot. So often something happens in our lives and we consider it to be sequential. Uh, there's that word for me again. Substantial for us in our lives. We consider it to be the big thing in our lives. When what we're discovering is that it is actually spinning us off into something that is quite different and possibly even better. You all know that I'm going through a divorce. You also know that it is not something that I chose initially. Although in the time that we have been apart the last year, I realize what a benefit this has been to my life. And my life has spun off in so many more positive ways. From moving down here to Key Largo, to making new friends, to uh, creating tons of new programs in my business, starting these jump starts daily and meeting new friends. And so... It was one of those things that seemed like a big deal in and of itself, and yet it always, it, not always, but it spun me off into a completely different direction in my life, for which I am now grateful. So when something happens in our lives, it's so easy for us to fixate on it and to feel like that it absolutely should not happen, which especially when it's something painful, like a divorce or a death or a loss, it's understandable. And yet, in many cases, it's just a MacGuffin. It's just there to spin you off into a better direction. I was thinking about the movie Sliding Doors with Gwyneth Paltrow. Really interesting movie, which is, of course, actually kind of two movies in one, if you've seen it. In the movie, Gwyneth Paltrow's character is hurrying to make it to get on a subway, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, the reason it's called sliding doors is that in one case, she makes it through the sliding door, and in another case, she does not. And as a result, the people that she meets, the things that do happen, the things that don't happen. I forget who said it, but it's a wonderful quote that we often think of little things in our lives, not realizing that they're, they're always the big things, that it is the big things that are created by the little things in our lives. So, for example, right now, many people are, we're all experiencing the MacGuffin of moving forward the plot by living through a global pandemic that has shut us down and has changed our lives seemingly forever. And yet, some of us will act out differently, some of us will grow through this, and some of us will implode through this. So what I'm inviting you to do is to understand that just because a MacGuffin happens doesn't mean that your fate is going to happen that way. Just because Gwyneth Paltrow does or does not make the sliding doors doesn't mean that she is going to have to live out a certain way. What we want to remember is that, yes, there are ongoing MacGuffins in our lives. There are things that are advancing the plot in our lives. There are things that are creating challenges and difficulties for us, and yet... If we are able to know where we want to go, regardless of how the MacGuffin shows up in our lives, we can move in the direction we want to go. When I've taught goal setting in the past, I often tell people to focus on what I call the thing behind the thing. Now, what does that mean? You may say that you want to own a 40-foot motor yacht and keep it in 
Biscayne Bay in Miami. Sounds great. Now to do that, you're going to have to, um, you think that that is, that's the be all and end all of end all of your desire, that to have this boat is everything that you want. That's that. Well, the thing is your soul knows that to do that, you're going to have to change who you are at a subtle level because you're going to have to possibly, if you don't have the money, which a lot of people would not, you're going to have to serve a lot of people in such a way that you generate the revenue and can have the boat that you want. Well, the change, the real thing that you want, you think what you want is the boat, but your soul knows at a deep level what it is that you need to move yourself forward and to progress. So the external thing is the MacGuffin. The internal thing, the thing behind the thing, the thing that is inside of you, the thing that expresses as a result of whatever transpires, that is what is important. That is what is significant. You know, it's interesting. I saw an interview with Hitchcock back when he was doing Hitch, Alfred Hitchcock's Presents. And of course, he was a, he made his, his bones as a movie director, one of the world's greatest movie directors. And they called him the master of suspense. And he was explaining how suspense works. He said that you don't have someone sitting in a chair and then all of a sudden a bomb goes off under the chair. You show someone planting a bomb beneath the chair before the person gets there. Then you show some time transpiring before the person gets there. Then when the person gets to the restaurant where the bomb is placed, you see them walking around trying to decide where it is they are going to sit. And then you see them sitting down and then you see cuts between the bomb ticking and the person sitting in the chair. In other words, suspense takes time and life takes time life takes time and we're all going to experience MacGuffins. we're all going to experience little things that trigger our lives to go in different directions even when we think we've got everything just where we want it that's when life throws a MacGuffin at us and you know what we can be upset about it or we can understand that's simply life that's how life has been, always will be. We are going to have things that trigger us off into different directions. The question is, how do we respond? How do we respond? And we always have a choice. Just like the man walking into the restaurant, which chair am I going to sit in? And of course, it's all designed so that he, of course, will sit in the one with the bomb. Well, unlike him, you have a choice. You really do have a choice. So when things transpire, one of the things that I find is best to do is actually to give thanks for them. When something happens and you feel like it is something that's a bit of a curse, if you can begin to say thank you for it, you will begin to understand the direction that that MacGuffin is trying to move you off into going forward. So listen, everybody, look out for the MacGuffins in your life and make conscious decisions as to what you're going to do with them. And please take a few minutes and post here. Those of you who are here every day know that uh, many of you respond to one another. We are truly building an online community of hope and inspiration. So be sure and share this with your friends and family. Just click share and invite them to join us here. And to those of you who are watching after, I apologize because so often I don't express my gratitude and enough to you fully. I want to say thank you for coming back and watching these videos later on when they're not live and by making us a part of your life. Be sure and check out our complaint free meditation program. We're going to be meditating live at 8:30 a.m. this morning. Go to complaintfreemeditation.com. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Make today a great day. And be sure and look out for the MacGuffins in your life and consciously choose the direction that you want to allow them to send you in. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more.